Hi everyone, in this video we will be learning about screen layouts in Blender. Screen layouts help in organizing your workspace so that you can work more effectively and more efficiently and obviously have a lot of fun doing so. We will first look at the default screen layouts that we have in Blender and later on we'll look at how to add your own screen layouts. The ability to add your own screen layouts is another benefit of Blender. As an artist, you should feel free to control how you want to work and how you want to organize your own workspace. And screen layouts help you do exactly that. So if I hover my mouse over here, you can see the message that says, choose screen layout. So when I click that, you'll see a bunch of different screen layouts. A screen layout is pretty much just the layout of Blender for a specific purpose, for example, for an purposes of animation, compositing, for game development, uh, video editing, and things like that. So it's, what does it do? Well, if I select animation, for example, it pretty much does nothing extra other than change the layout of the windows and uh, change the editors within those windows. So in a way that sort of makes it convenient for for this purpose. For example, for the purpose of animation, um, it looks like having a dope sheet uh, editor and an F-curve editor and a 3D editor and a timeline editor as well, as well as a little preview camera editor um, is perfect for the animator. Well, uh, that's what at least Blender thinks will be perfect for the animator. You might not like it, but uh, that's basically the default. So if I go to the video editing screen layout, you'll see that the windows have now been divided in this way to have the uh, video editor preview. So it sort of looks like Movie Maker or uh, Adobe Premiere or things like that. And you can see the um, place where you can add your video strips and audio strips and so on. And that's uh, a graph editor if you need to do some advanced complex um, key framing, such as like if you add effects like fade in, fade out, that kind of stuff. So Blender, it doesn't actually do any kind of extra processing or anything. It just changes the uh, windows and the layouts of those windows. So it just changes the editors and the layouts for those windows. You can switch back and forth, say default, uh, animation. Changing the selection here is uh, only going to change the window layout and the editors within those windows. It's You don't have to worry about changing the state of Blender or that your computer's going to blow up if you select the wrong button here or anything like that. It just does nothing. It's just, just to make it convenient for you. And for it's just a layout, a layout system, that's it. So for example, if you if you don't like the layout, for example you don't you don't like the animation layout, you think it's too there's too many things that that are going on here that you don't need. Well you can obviously make your own screen layout. So to do so you can just press plus and pressing plus copies the same screen layout as the one that you are currently on. And, but it is it is its own um, screen layout now, so you can rename it to something else. Say my animation layout, and then you can obviously create your own layout. So I think maybe this is too big. I probably don't need an F curve editor. I in real life I don't actually work with F curve edit editor that much. I do need a timeline. It's important, but most of my timeline work is done within the Dope Sheet editor. So I guess I can remove that. So to do so, I can just remove that and then maybe drag out a new window and then put the dope sheet editor there and I don't really need to see the properties window generally I don't work with the properties window I just need the outline so I can select my objects like the lamp, the camera and yeah that's pretty much all I need and to me this will be a pretty much a pretty good layout and if I save it this layout will be pretty much saved for me so it's just handy little things like that that can help I hope this video was useful to you. In the next video, we will start to look at the Blender interface. I look forward to seeing you then and keep blending.